And it came to pass after the sitting night of terror came a day such as the world had never seen. From east and west, from north and south, they came with all they had, driving their flocks and their herds and their camels before them. By tens, by hundreds, by thousands, unending streams of men and beast and burden, and even very much cattle, poured into the avenue of sphinxes. Beneath the stone feet of the four colossal images of Ramses, which their own sweat and blood and sinew had honed from solid rock, a nation arose, and freedom was born into the world. Like Dathan, they did not know where they were going, and they cared no more than the flocks and the herds they drove. Now they used the brick yokes to carry a very different burden, and there went forth among them planters of vineyards and sowers of seeds, each hoping to sit under his own vine and fig tree. Out of this glorious chaos, it is Joshua who brings order and purpose. And he brought forth the people with joy and gladness. He bore them out of Egypt as an eagle bears its young upon its wings. But, again, Pharaoh's heart was harder. 